the book dragon slayer. <sighs> Damn it, though. I will say this about those sylphs. At least they know how to get their hands on quality booze. Hmm. <sighs> oh. Hey. You're that new figure in the building, right? The one in... Accounting, right? Ah. Figured. I heard that they were getting a new person. I just wasn't sure on who it was. Oh. Who am I? Oh, I'm Alasa. I'm an undyne. You know, a uh, water elemental? Mm-hmm. I, I come from the elementals department. S what's your name? Oh. What a very interesting name. It suits you. And it's very nice to meet you, by the way. So... You couldn't handle the crowds as well. <laughs> yeah, it's understandable. First time at a party? Oh, really? <laughs> well, how do you like it so far? A little on the loud side? Yeah, it's very understandable. I don't mind parties. I like going to them as much as the next girl. However, I have my limit on how much I can stomach when it comes to the salamanders. You know, the fire elementals. Yeah, the sort of lizardy looking monster people, very warm. They have f f sparks and little flames surrounding their body. Yeah. Well, I mean, I am an undyne, and I am a water elemental, and, well, salamanders and undines don't really get along. There are two, I don't know, they can be very brash sometimes. Oh, well, each to their own. I'm not hating on them per se, they're just... Not my cup of tea. And speaking of tea, um, you want something from the bar? Uh, Sylphs may be a little high energy, however, they know how to get their hands on some pretty good booze. Here, let me pour you a glass. Mm, there we go. Yep, I'm just sipping champagne and waiting to see what else this party has in store. But I think this year is going to be a good one. Mm hmm. Well, <laughs> I don't know. What do I mean? Um. This year's kind of been an upper and a downer for me. A mix of good and bad. What about you? Oh. I see. <sighs> so, what exactly goes down in accounting anyway? Aside from the, you know, number crunching, of course. What does happen in there? Oh. Oh, really? I didn't think it would be that kind of place. But, I mean, I might come down and pay a visit, maybe. Oh? What goes on in the elemental department? Oh. <laughs> well, honestly, one of the things we do is we help disperse the new employees. Mm-hmm. We go over them based on their elements. There is a section for fire elemental type monsters. There is a section for water type ele 
element monsters, and there's also one for earth and for air type elementals. Um, we go through them, and then after going through the resume and, you know, making sure they're qualified for the job, we make sure that they're placed in a suitable workplace where they will be able to work hard and where they will also be able to get the most out of working in the office, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it is kind of interesting. The only downside is the, um, the occasional disputes. Mm -hmm. Let's just say there have been some steamy encounters between some undines and some salamanders recently. Yeah. Honestly, though, I am kind of glad that I went to this party. It's nice to see the humans and the monsters having fun together. Actually, between you and me, I think everyone's still surprised at how long this has been going. It's been what? Five, seven years since the Interspecies Exchange Bill was enacted? And I don't think some of them can quite believe that it's still going on. That the prejudices, fears, and the I'm not going to say that. I wasn't going to. I was going to say strong dislike for the other has, for the most part, dissipated entirely. I mean, go back to the Dark Ages. Back before the Interspecies Exchange Bill. Back before technology. Back before any of it existed. There was rivalry. We saw each other as enemies. You hunted us, we hunted you, and it, it was almost chaotic and, not to mention, extremely barbaric on both ends, I might add. But ever since that exchange bill, I mean, well, look at it. Look at it. There are humans and monsters getting along together, celebrating the first day of New Year's together. Can you believe that? I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little off. I mean, I do come from the ocean, and you know what happens when people drink too much seawater. They get a little crazy. So maybe I am just crazy, but I don't know. Personally, I think it's kind of remarkable to see that. To, s to see the friendship between humans and monsters. <laughs> well, yes. You have a lot to learn from us monsters, yet at the same time, we have a lot to learn from you humans. So, I think it all works out, and part of me is a kind of excited to see what this new year brings, and who knows, maybe the goodness that is coming from this exchange bill, maybe, just maybe, it might continue on into the years to come. That's what everyone's hoping for anyway. And maybe in the face of hardship and adversary, we might band together like we have been for the past five to seven years. Uh, sorry. No, oh, that was heavy. <laughs> I didn't mean to get emotional there. Would you like some more to drink, maybe? <sighs> What are some of my New Year's resolutions? <laughs> Why would you ask that? Oh. <laughs> tell you what. I'll tell you some of my New Year's resolutions if you tell me some of your New Year's resolutions. Deal? Okay. Well... This year, I am going to try and step outside my comfort zone more. I am going to travel to one new body of water 
this year, at least one, if I'm able to. And I'm going to see if I can try and get back into writing. Mm -hmm. When I was in high school, I used to write a lot. It actually almost got me in trouble in class as I would write a bunch of stories and not want to work on my homework assignments. <laughs> Funny how that works. But yeah, those are some of my New Year's resolutions. What about yours? Ah, trying something new. That's always a good one. Make $500 in one week. <laughs> That is a little odd, but I'm not one to judge. Good luck to you on that. And find love in the coming new year? Oh, well, I don't think you'll have to worry about that last one. You're very pleasing to the eyes. You're pleasant company. You're nice and you're easy to talk to. I'm sure someone in the, the office might find you attractive. Might, what am I saying? They will find you attractive. I know they will. What about me? Do I find you attractive? <laughs> uh, I don't think the champagne is that strong. But apparently it seems to have made someone a little bolder. Not that I'm complaining much. I do like a bold human. Boldness shows character to an extent. But, to answer your question, yes, I do find you attractive. Am I single? <laughs> very, very single. Pray tell, why do you ask? So why did you ask me if I was single or not? Oh, come now. You've been drinking quite a bit of champagne, and you've gotten quite a bit bolder. You can't get all blushy and bashful on me now, human. Come on, why did you ask me? I won't judge you. After all, our motto at the corporation is we're more than just a business, we're a family. Come on. I promise, I won't laugh, and I won't judge. Here. Cross my heart. Oh. Oh, really? You wanted to ask me out on a date? <laughs> hey, hey, don't be like that. It's cute. You look cute when you're blushing. Hmm. Well, I don't have to be anywhere on the 7th of January, if you have that day off or you have a shorter shift, then maybe we could do something. Maybe go out to dinner, go to some of the nearby bookstores, catch a movie. Go for a romantic walk under the skylight, or go for a swim. I know a pool place that is open after hours, when other places are closed. It's an undying area, however, they know me well enough, and if you're with me, you'll be fine. So what do you say? Hmm. Alright. It's a date, then. Happy New Year. <laughs>